There's a fresh uh, twist which has come by insofar as the NC worker Muhammad Yusuf's mysterious death is concerned. His family has now questioned the post-mortem report which claims Muhammad Yusuf died of a cardiac arrest. Times now has accessed the details of the preliminary post-mortem report that says that there were no external injuries on Muhammad Yusuf's body and that he died of a cardiac arrest. Both claims countered by Yusuf's family. आप मुझे एक बात बताइए अगर किसी आदमी का हार्ट अटैक दिन के आफ्टर जब जब से वो इंटरेक्शन हुई है उमर शाह के साथ उसके बाद 24 घंटे के बाद 14 घंटे के बाद होता है 14 घंटे तक हमें उसके साथ कोई कांटेक्ट नहीं रहता है और आज तक हाई साहब ने कोई हार्ट की मेडिसिन कोई नहीं ली है उसको एक ही प्रॉब्लम थी वो थी नींद की प्रॉब्लम बाकी तो कोई मतलब बीमार का कोई इंजेक्शन नहीं था तो ये सब झूठ है सब गंडा है कि कैसे अपने जुर्म को छुपा सके हम चाहते हैं कि इसका इंक्वायरी हो सीबीआई कराए इस तरह सीबीआई जैसे कि सीबीआई बाकी स्टेट में करती है फेयर और यहां पे वही फेयर ट्रायल देयर वाज सम इंजरी ऑन हिज फेस वेरी इविडेंट इंजरी ऑन हर ऑन हिज फेस it is uh, and nothing uh, regarding his body situation was allowed us and we could not understand what happened actually he was tortured he was put to some great many circumstances so do you want to contest the post mortem report exactly exactly that is on a wrong situation they are deceiving people this is nothing like uh, nothing other than deception on behalf of the government and the अगर उनके रिपोर्ट के बयान के मुताबिक सरकारी बयान के मुताबिक डॉक्टर वो बोलता है कि ये बिल्कुल सेहत आ गया फिर भी मोहम्मद यूसुफ डॉक्टर सरकारी बयान के मुताबिक पेट में दर्द की शिकायत करता है फिर डॉक्टर बोलता है ये ठीक है फिर वो शिकायत करता है अगर हार्ट फेलियर हुआ है तो कैसे हुआ उसके उसने एक दवाई भी हार्ट की नहीं खाई कभी जिंदगी तो आपके कहने का मतलब है वो कभी हार्ट हार्ट पेशेंट हार्ट पेशेंट जिंदगी भी नहीं उसको सिर्फ एक प्रॉब्लम थी घुटनों में तो उसके लिए वो नी कैप वो है वो इस्तेमाल करते हैं सर से रिटोल बाकी कोई प्रॉब्लम and farid now joins us for more on this farid the family members of mohammad yusuf say that they want to contest the preliminary post mortem report are they not ready to wait for the final post mortem report well the family members uh, got uh, the news of the post mortem report and immediately they are contesting it they are saying that this uh, preliminary pre preliminary post mortem report is nothing but uh, a lies uh, they they are saying that the government uh, really is coming out today they are trying to hush up the case and that's why they this uh, post mortem report they are not going to believe in they're saying that they're contesting it and according to them uh, mohammad yusuf shah was hail and hearty when he entered the chief minister's office and it was only after uh, he came back uh, after an hour staying in the cm's office that uh, his health situation deteriorated they're saying right, that uh, right right uh, farid do stay on with us pdp chief mehbooba mufti now joins us on the phone line miss mufti how do you react to the fact that the preliminary post mortem report in so far as uh, mohammad yusuf's uh, death is concerned says that there are no external injuries on his body and that he died of a cardiac arrest do you believe that report well basically that's why we wanted to have a discussion in the assembly so that the government could put forward their viewpoint which is coming in the press all the time and we could also say something so that you know you could sort out the matter but unfortunately we have been saying i mean they, these allegations are against the chief minister their family is making the allegations there are circumstantial evidence what the witness salam rishi is saying how this person was taken into a separate room where uh, shabir uh, chief minister's pso and ig crime uh, interrogated him asked him questions for 40 minutes and when the person came disease came out he was in a very different position at that point of there were many questions many you know evidences many statements coming from the ruling party from the witnesses from the family so that's why we wanted to have a discussion but it did not happen but again i would repeat that if we really want to have a thorough investigation have you know a fair investigation it's very important the chief minister is the home minister also everything is under him so how can any department any head you know have a investigation against his own chief minister against whom there are the allegations it's not possible Ms Mufti are you suspecting there's a collusion between the hospital authorities uh, which uh, said in its preliminary post mortem report that there were no physical injuries and the Umar Abdullah government are you suspecting a collusion 
Well, I can't say for sure, but we have had a record of, you know, DNA fudging that took place when Farooq Abdullah was there in the Pathribal case. Again, you know, there are different contradictory reports when the Shupayan uh, case happened. So we cannot be sure. There is a government who said they have already initiated a judicial probe, but today your channel as well as the, you know, Registrar General said he had received no intimation from the government till last night, last evening. So you can see how the government is, you know, saying one thing and doing totally another thing.